You probably know about putting aloe vera gel on sunburns, but did you know that you can also get aloe vera juice? And it has a host of wonderful benefits. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we are passionate about health and nutrition. And one way we celebrate that is by coming together every week in the kitchen and creating delicious recipes. Today, we're going to be making an aloe pineapple smoothie. Let's begin today by adding one cup of fresh or frozen pineapple to your blender. Pineapple contains an enzyme called bromelain, which may help your body break down protein and also absorb nutrients. Next, we have one half of a banana, fresh or frozen again, and bananas contain potassium, magnesium, and dietary fiber. So if you don't eat bananas, totally fine. You can just substitute this with one half of an avocado. Just know that your smoothie isn't going to be quite as sweet. Three tablespoons of hemp seeds, which are often called the perfect protein because they contain all 20 essential amino acids, including the nine that you can only get from your diet. For some spices, the first one I have is one half to one teaspoon of turmeric. Most of you know that it contains curcumin, which is known to possibly help with inflammation in the body. One half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, which may also help reduce inflammation in the body. Our last spice today is one quarter of a teaspoon of ginger powder, which is going to add a little bit of spice to our smoothie today. And now we're ready for our star of our recipe today. I have half of a cup of aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice is rich in nutrients and it may also help support your digestion. This last ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our organic greens green juice powder, which is made out of sprouted and fermented superfoods. We've got prebiotics, probiotics, enzymes, all made without any added sugar. Blend up all of your ingredients until you reach your desired consistency, adding an ice for thickness, and additional juice or water for thinning it out. It's time to give this smoothie a taste. That is wonderful. It's perfectly sweetened, and I love the flavor of the pineapple. And if you wanna get a little crazy and you like spice, I would maybe add in a little bit of cayenne pepper but that's just me. This is super, super delicious. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, be sure to join me next week for a fun twist on a St. Patrick's Day recipe. I will see you then. Bye-bye.